Hello, I'm James. Welcome to this tutorial. And uh, this is a mould calculation aimed at beginning of A-level chemistry standards, sort of AS level chemistry. And the question which we're going to answer is what volume of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution would completely react with 3 grams of ammonium sulfate? So to answer this question, we're learning to convert mass into mole using the MR or relative formula mass. We're going to interconvert mole volume and concentration for a solution and use a balanced equation to work out the ratio in which reactants react. So to convert the uh, mole and mass, then we can say that the mole of a substance is equal to its mass divided by uh, its relative formula mass. Whereas for if you've got solutions, then we need the concentration and the volume. And we could say the mole is uh, the concentration multiplied by the volume over a thousand. If you've got a balanced chemical equation, chemical equation, say A goes to 2B, then we could say that that's in a 1 to 2 ratio, the A to B. So however much mole you've got of A, then you will form uh, twice as much mole of B. So let's go through the uh, calculation itself. You're also given in the question the relative formula mass of the ammonium sulfate and the balanced equation. Now the balanced equation, you can see that the ammonium sulfate reacts in a 1 to 2 ratio with the sodium hydroxide. So if I can work out the number of mole of the ammonium sulfate, then I can work out the number of mole of the sodium hydroxide by multiplying by 2. So that means that we need to get the mole of the ammonium sulfate. We can do that by taking the mass and dividing by the MR. which is a 0.0227 mole, uh, multiplied by 2 to give the mole of sodium hydroxide that would react with, and that's 0 0.0455. Now, because we've got a solution here, an AQ, then the equation we need to be thinking of is concentrations and volumes. We've just worked out the number of mole of the sodium hydroxide. In the question, we're given that the concentration is 0.1, so therefore we can say that the volume over a thousand, this part here, is equal to mole divided by conch which comes out as 0.455 decimeter cubed, or multiply up by the a thousand there to get it in centimetres cubed. And just to summarise what we've done here, we had an equation in which there was a solid and an aqueous solution. So therefore, we uh, needed to use different equations for the solid. We needed to use the mass over MR equation. Whereas for the aqueous solution, we needed to use the conch and volume over a thousand equation. We could work out the mole of the solid from the mass in the MR. We could use the ratio here to work out the mole of uh, the aqueous solution. And then we were given this one in the question, which enabled us to work out that one there. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.